Hey guys, just Janny. I had a question about filing the dings out of the fork tines or anything you're working on if you ding it up and you want to clean it up. So if you haven't seen these before, these are called needle files. I got these at Harbor Freight. They're just a couple dollars for a pack. This may not be an accurate pack. I have a couple and I just grabbed a handful to show you what you'll get if you pick up a package. So I'm not an expert on these tools. There's different shapes. You can see this is a little bit rounded on each side. Some are um, flat but wide on one side and narrow on the other. Um, this is equally flat on both sides, like kind of like a nail file, a little square. So I don't know specifically what each one is for, but I do know the half round, which means it's flat on one side and round on the other, seems to be my favorite go-to needle file. I don't know why that one works best for me, but it always does. So I want to zoom in here. Oop, that'd be the wrong way. So you can see, especially when you're doing any of the fork tine rings, they really take a beating. I'm not sure if you can see how badly scratched and dinged these are. Oh, and before I forget, um, this design of the fork ring, cutting the fork off and bending these around. I saw this on uh, Cuttlefish Creations site. So I'll put links to his uh, social media so you can see his work always has super cool ideas. Thank you for that, Cuttlefish. So anyway, when you make these and you want to clean them up, we can go to our fiber wheel and knock a lot out, but you cannot get inside all these curls and in the tight spots. So what you can do well, let me show you this one before I get to it. This one I made the heart shape. I don't know if you can see that. So I just made a heart on either side. Something you can maybe remember to do for next Valentine's Day. This one was going to be the tentacles, but I broke one. But I'm still going to finish it for myself. So on this, because this is the half round side, it works well in all these tines. So really you're just doing little short strokes and kind of follow it around. And then on these outside ones, like here, not sure if that'll pick it up, but there's a pretty good dent right there, probably from the pliers. And you can just little short strokes. You might have to change the direction and just go until it's pretty good. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, especially out here because you will hit that with the fiber wheel. Let's see if I can make sure this is I'm hoping it'll focus on that. I'm not sure. It's hard for me to tell what you can see. Um, anyway, it leaves a shiny mark and looks a little bit scratched, but when you run that through the tumbler, that's going to disappear. So the needle file will just get out the worst of it. For example, this tine, I really worked it and I kept changing my mind and opening it up and you know, bending it around again until I came up with something I liked. 
So to clean that up and get rid of all those dings, I'm just going to file it out. Now feel free to try the other needle files, find what works for you. I don't know if you saw, I was doing round and then I saw this has a rough edge and I flipped it over because it's flat and I'm going to do those edges. So on this outside, it just had a rough edge so I'm just kind of lightly pushing where on the inside one I have some pretty good dings and I'm really pushing hard right here just to get those smoothed out. So that's it. Just find a needle file that works well for you, that gives you the result you want, and you go in there and clean up all your rough spots. And then you'll have a much nicer looking piece of jewelry with just a small amount of effort. saw I hit it with the fiber wheel after I used my needle files. I hit it with the fiber wheel because that really smooths out those scratch marks that the needle file leaves. And then I buffed it with the red and then the white polishing compound. I know it's kind of up close and my hands are filthy, but can you see the difference it made? Just filing. It, I mean, it just take a, takes a few minutes to file those dings out. Let's look at that side with the broken tine. Do you remember how bad that was? Super jaggedy, really dinged up. Let's see what that looks like. Get some of that polishing compound off so you can see it. You see, it did a really good job of smoothing out those dings. Now, normally you wouldn't be looking at it quite so close like this, so I think it makes a big difference, especially when you're doing any of the work with tines. Let's look at this other ring. You see those scratches and dents. And I haven't filed this one at all. But I want you to see the difference in your work with just a little bit of filing and then hitting it with that fiber wheel and doing your polishing compound. Or normally I throw mine in my tumbler I don't do the polishing, it just goes straight to the tumbler. But for the sake of the video, I went ahead and did it on the um, 
polishing wheel, buffing wheel there. But you can see like all these little scratches and dings from bending, those come out. Obviously I still have a little bit of compound on there. Needs to be wiped off. But you can see how smooth it is, even if you're not tumbling, just polishing. So, Julia, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe.